So you're thinking of moving to Fort Worth, Texas. In this video, we're going to show you around Walsh, a 7,200-acre master-planned community which includes residential and will include mixed-use and commercial development. We're located just off of I-30, which you can see the feeder of behind me, and just north of I-20, and only about 12 minutes to downtown. We are located in the city of Fort Worth and in Parker County. This is where I call home. The current or near future development includes 1,700 acres for residential use. By the end, there will be up to 4,000 single family homes, two elementary schools, 10 to 20 acres of mixed use and walkable retail that will honor the Walsh family and legacy. If this is your first time to our channel and you want to know everything about living in Fort Worth, subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Fort Worth. My name is Wendy Mama with Relocating to Fort Worth, Texas, and I'm a local realtor. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you hoping to make their move to Fort Worth, and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in six days, 60 days, or six months, Feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All that contact information is down below in the description so we can help you make a smooth move to Fort Worth. The developers of Walsh have a vision focused on education, technology, nature, and wellness. Regarding education, the top-ranked Alito ISD serves all of Walsh from elementary to high school. In 2017, Walsh Elementary was opened here inside Walsh. Right now, Primrose School at Walsh, which is a preschool, is set to open in fall of 2024. It will have 12 classrooms, three playgrounds, and after-school care. Walsh also partners and coordinates with the Botanical Research Institute and Native Prairie Association. We have Walsh-led lifestyle programs to promote childhood learning such as a Spanish camp, a storybook and nature club, and Snapology which is a camp related to Legos. We also have a 3,000 square foot maker space which is the only one of its kind in a master planned community in the U.S. at the time that it was built. And just as a side note, this video is intended to give you kind of an overview of Walsh but I've also created a series and they're loaded in a playlist. And these are called my W to the fourth videos, Wendy's Walsh Wanderings and Wisdom. And these are some shorter videos that just give you kind of a snippet of what life is actually like here in Walsh. It goes in more depth into the amenities and also shares about some of the groups that we have here in Walsh, some of the activities, kind of what daily life is like in Walsh. So be sure to check that out if you want to know even more about Walsh. Related to technology, we have two gigabit internet offered at every house, and that is part of your monthly HOA fees. There's no additional cost for that. My son, who's a junior in high school, made the comment the other day. He said, when I go off to college, I'm going to be spoiled to this high-speed internet here at Walsh and he'll be a little disappointed when he doesn't have that but so we enjoy that there's also up to 10 gigabit speed available for an additional fee if you need even more this enables residents the ability to better stream work from home and integrate smart home technology and this will also help future commercial business as well for nature you can see that I've been walking among our beautiful Texas blue bonnets. And we have other wildflowers mixed in as well, and even more come up during the remainder of April and May. And actually, I've been looking, and a lot of these blue bonnets have already gone to seed, which means it was even prettier a week or so ago, if you can imagine. But one third of the Walsh development is reserved as open space. We currently have five parks that are approximately total 96 acres. Those parks are Founders Park, Theater Park, Crescent Park, Overlook Park, and Lake Park. And we'll look at those a little more detailed later. We have 414 acres of green space, 26 
plus miles of interconnected trails and walkways. We have two stocked ponds totaling 13 acres. We have a two mile nature trail that's behind me and down in the valley in that section of phase three that's called Brook Hollow. And we also have lots of buffer areas like this where we have native prairie grasses and wildflowers. For health and fitness, we have this 10,000 square foot athletic club behind us. We also, this direction, have two pools, a lap pool and a resort pool. And the resort pool has slides, splash pad, and a baby pool. In the summer, every Thursday, we have pool parties with food trucks. So that's a lot of fun. We also have, over in this direction behind me here, two lighted tennis and pickleball courts. It kind of goes for either one, depending on how you're wanting to play. A lighted full court basketball court, a very attractive and very useful locker room behind me. The athletic club itself is divided into two rooms. We have the movement studio on this side, closer to the sand volleyball court that they're kind of reworking right now but it has regular scheduled fitness classes. Then over on this other side, we have the workout room, which has well equipped with many machines, free weights and workout balls. And behind the sports courts, we also have two dog parks, one for small dogs and one for large dogs. Regarding residential use, first thing I wanna point out is that we are building fire station number 43 behind us, which will have 12 dedicated firefighters. So that'll be great to have that in the neighborhood. Uh, within phase one and phase two of Walsh, we have 1,140 lots. Most of those are finished. There might be a random builder lot or two, but that's mostly done. We also have 701 new lots currently released in phase three. In the sections of right behind the fire station, there's Brook Hollow. Then kind of over here by the maker space and the athletic club, is the village and then we also have extensions for lake park and overlook park that'll give us a total of 1841 lots home types range from luxury townhomes to boutique gardens to single family homes of up to about 5000 square feet which is what this is back here which is klein park which is the more custom home area phase 5 is going to add 600 and 48 more lots southwest of Lake Park in 2025 to 2026 and late 2025 they'll be adding a new pool and late 25-26 is when they're going to be adding more custom lots like in Klein Park behind us because there's actually a lack of custom home availability here in Fort Worth. Uh, phase 5 is going to add 25 percent or more green space so let's go take a look at several different homes available here in Walsh and also the parks. Let's go! Okay, so I want to give you a quick overview of the variety of homes that are available here in Walsh, including new construction and pre-owned. I hope you can see behind me, you can see most of our awesome amenities here. We have the Walsh Athletic Club with swimming pools and the sports courts, the tennis slash pickleball courts, basketball court, the dog parks. And then you may not be able to see it, but there's the maker space kind of in front of the athletic center. So that's one thing that makes Walsh so exciting is their amazing amenities. I also wanted to remind you that with new construction homes, the builders have realtor commissions built into their pricing models. So using a realtor to represent your interests makes perfect sense. So be sure to register me as your agent when you're visiting with a builder rep or even better, Book an appointment through me so that we can schedule a time to go in together and meet with the builder and discuss your needs. Let's talk a little bit more about what's included in your monthly HOA fees here in Walsh. 
It includes community maintenance and upkeep for common areas, parks, trails, and the amenities. It includes front yard maintenance, two gigabit home internet service, free community events, including lake park concerts and many other events for families. For example, they're setting up right now for a bubble show for the kids. It includes access to amenities. The cost for the monthly HOA fee is determined by the size of your lot. And for single family homes, that's gonna range from $163 to $242 per month. But consider the monthly savings. You may not have to be paying any more for bills such as front yard maintenance or internet, maybe even cable TV service or a gym membership. When you consider all of those bills that you'll no longer be paying, then the HOA dues could pretty much pay for themselves. In Brook Hollow at Walsh, David Weekly is building their garden home product, which is a cluster of four homes that share a driveway. There are four different floor plans starting in the low 400s and ranging in size from 1,976 square feet up to 2,284 square feet. These homes are designed to be low maintenance and lock and leave. All right, here we are at our next home. This is a duplex style townhome by Perry Homes, which is a true lock and leave kind of situation if that's what you're wanting. This is listed at $425,000. It's a three bedroom, two bath house, 1,711 square feet. It's listed at $248 per square foot. It was built in 2021. And it's great because it has this really elongated green space front yard and it's across from Lake Park. And Lake Park is the site of many of our community events, such as our 4th of July fireworks, our summer concert series, and all kinds of other little random uh, gatherings or events that we have. The monthly HOA fee for this townhouse is $360, but that includes exterior maintenance, which includes roof replacement when that's needed. It also includes your property insurance, and other things as well, and also access to all of our Walsh amenities. All right, here we are at our next homes, which are Highland Homes townhomes, and in particular, the patios. This is close to so many of the amenities, the athletic club, the maker space, we've got the dog parks behind, we've got village market just up the road, we've got the sports courts. Uh, these patios, as they're called, these uh, group of townhomes. They have the Casey, Dillon, Berkeley, and Ansley plans. This is a four-pack of townhomes. They start at $422,000 up to $460,000. All of these have three bedrooms, two baths, a two-car garage. They range from $1,795 
to 1,849 square feet. So the primary bedrooms of these townhouses are all upstairs, but their villa floor plans, particularly the Ashford and Bolton, have primary suites downstairs if that's something that um, you need. Highland often has really amazing incentives and I can help you make sure you get all of those so be sure to contact me for that. Also I wanted to stop just for a second here and tell you a little bit more about the makerspace. The use of the makerspace is free with HOA dues to Walsh residents on a first come first serve basis with no reservation needed for the different machines. There are two halves to the makerspace. There's the wood shop side and then there's the maker side. The maker side includes 3D printers, Cricut and vinyl machines, laser cutter and also an area for our littlest makers with a Lego wall and all kinds of crowns and markers and all kinds of other things for them to explore. Now if you prefer a more modern downtown looking townhouse then Village Homes offers that right here. It's also right next to our Village Market which has a gas station and it's kind of an upscale convenience store. It's super nice and we make a lot of good use of that. And it also has outdoor seating areas that you can use to gather with friends also. Here we are at our next home. This is one of the David Weekly cottage homes that's on a 35 foot lot and it has this inner green belt kind of courtyard area that people really enjoy getting out and visiting with their neighbors here in this area. This house is listed on the market for $497,000. It is a three bedroom, two and a half bath house with a flex room. It's 2,341 square feet. It's listed on the market for $212 per square foot. It also has this nice oversized lot. So it's nice being on the corner here. It was built in 2018. The HOA dues are $200. And it's a craftsman style home. And this particular house has $20,000 in builder upgrades. Okay, here we are in Founders Park, which is where the original model homes were. Now they've been converted to private residences as the model homes have moved down to phase three. We have a lot of events down here, including our annual Christmas tree lighting and all kinds of other events.
Here we are at our next house. This is a David Weekly house. It's listed for $610,000. It has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, two living rooms, a dining room. It's 2,372 square feet. It was built in 2019. It's listed for $257 per square foot. It's a corner lot, so it has this wrought iron fencing on the side, which is typical for Walsh. That's one thing that distinguishes it from other neighborhoods, just this more open feel. It also has two electric car charging plugs in the garage. And this is very close to Walsh Elementary School and to Crescent Park. All right, here we have Crescent Park which has a small playground and it does have soccer goal area which they have soccer practice soccer shots for little preschool little young children this is also just across the street from Walsh Elementary right here in the neighborhood All right, here we are at another home. This is a new construction, a completed home by GFO Homes. It is listed at $759,000. It's a five bedroom, four and a half bath house. Plus it's got a study. It's 4,259 square feet. It's listed at $178 per square foot. It also has a private guest room with full bath downstairs. Upstairs has a loft and a game room. And the family room is a two-story family room open all the way up. And it's across from one of our iconic parks here, which is Theater Park, right behind me, which has a lot of those blue building blocks that allow kids to just be creative and build whatever they want. They also have our fun little zip line, which you might recognize that from my channel intro when I went on that zip line. Now I've seen lots of people go on that zip line all different ages. So this is a really fun park. We also have over here kind of a green space bike path or walking path that gives you a little extra space from your neighbors. So that's something that's really nice. A lot of homes have that out here. That's part of the commitment to green spaces and trails and walkability out here at Walsh.
Okay, here we are at our next house. It is a Britain home. It's on the market for about $910,000. It's a four bedroom, four and a half bath house with an office and game room. It's one story. It's on a 70 foot lot. It's 3,522 square feet, has a three car garage, and is listed for $258 per square foot. It has hardwood floors in the living areas, and the family room has a wall of windows. The kitchen has an elongated island and double wall convection oven and six burner gas range top. All secondary bedrooms have their own private bath, which is always a wonderful plus. It has soaring ceilings and large windows throughout and an extended covered back patio. So let's head up to our very last house, which is up in Klein Park. All right, here we are in our last home in our tour of Walsh. We're up here in Klein Park, which is the custom home area of Walsh. This house is actually already pending, but it was offered at $1,675,000. It has four bedrooms, four and a half baths, one living room, two dining rooms. It has a pool and also has outdoor kitchen and fireplace. It's on almost a half an acre. It has a three-car garage. The HOA dues for this house are only $242 per month, even for a house of this size. It's 4,940 square feet. It was built in 2021, and it was offered at $339 per square foot. Okay, here we are at our last park here in Walsh. This is Overlook Park. You might recognize this two-story slide here from my channel intro video. I hope you have enjoyed our tour of Walsh, seeing the variety of houses that we have here, the amenities and all of our great parks. One thing that's really great about this park is that on a clear day, up on the top you can see all the way to downtown so that's awesome it is only about 12 miles from here depending on the traffic that could be 12 minutes or maybe a little more but remember whether you're moving in six days 60 days or six months feel free to give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email all that contact information is down below in the description also comment about what was your favorite part of this video and until next time well, we hope to show you around town.